Hey, welcome to La Toscana. been in Italy for a week. What do you think about the food? I think it's very, very delicious. So Christina being Lithuanian, you know, in Lithuania, sandwich is not such a big thing. Probably these days it changed a lot. But when you come here to Firenze, for example, sandwich is everywhere. Yeah, and we just had like almost half a meter sandwich combined. Ice cream is incredibly popular. So for me, heavy flavors, it's a bit hard. For example, you prefer chocolate, yeah. In that order. To me, it's kind of dessert, like a proper dessert. For me, ice cream is to enjoy it with something more light. So that's the reason you try avocado ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I try avocado because I had to try something new. One time experience. Good. It's just delicious. <laughs> Gelato is so good. Mi piace tantissimo. We're in Michelangelo now, it's like a very popular square and we're going to try to do the time lapse. On my back, San Ciminiano. We found this particular spot that we thought, nah, no one's gonna find this away from the city, and it's actually not. We have a lot of people around. One important tip if you come to San Ciminiano, it's absolutely stunning, so you should definitely come, but you need to know this is packed. Most of the tourists they do day trip, they come at 11, they leave at 5 p.m. If you wanna enjoy the city, wake up early or wait till the sunset comes, and that's gonna be your best chance. In the meantime, you might think you found key spots, secret spots, but somebody will come at some point, and this is just happening to us. We came here to do a time-lapse to fly the drone, so you can see the whole city from the sky. But five, ten minutes later, we have company. You need to deal with this because three million people come every year. Okay, so another important thing to say. They have here the cypress trees, but they need the expert. Expert is here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about the cypress tree. So apparently this cypress tree has a very strong connection with the locals because it represents the ground and the sky. It's kind of in the middle. It's a symbol of luck and every household has uh, at least one tree planted close to the house. It's very common to plant on the entrance and as a cross. Now we go to try the best ice cream in the world. The best ice cream shop in, in the, the world. world. That's what they say. I'm having, I think it's nochola, which is hazelnuts. And then the other one is a mix of white chocolate and dark chocolate and Nutella. I don't know, it's crazy. And yeah, you? and I have a salted caramel. So the lady gave us to try all the ice creams we wanted. And I'm having tiramisu since I'm in Italy. I cannot have tiramisu out of Italy and salted caramel. We had very light breakfast, thanks God. Yeah. So this is kind of a cherry on top. <laughs> we just finished breakfast, but guess what? We wanted to pay and the lady told us, no, it's free for you. I'm oh. so happy I am free. Wow. This is the best ice cream <laughs> shop in the world and the best service in the world. Amazing. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of pastries, bakeries and all that. I'm a little bit forced because of Christina. In the moment I start, I don't stop. That's the problem. So we went to this place which was fantastic. Grazie mille. Niente, prego. I don't like croissants again, but Christina loved it. What I liked the most was the start. To me it looked like a cheesecake. Yeah, but very beautifully made, very light, not too heavy. Even the crust was, you know, very crumbly and nice. Really, really well made. I think you will have another gelato now. Okay, if you insist. This is the other best ice cream in the world. They won the Gelato World Champion Competition a few times. The problem with this one is we came too late. You need at least 15 minutes to queue up, but we're gonna try one more time. Gelato, probably the last one in Toscan.
We came all the way to Montepulciano in Tuscany region, La Toscana. So Montepulciano is the land of wine. And if you don't believe me, see that. Smelling wine. This means we are in the right place. It's closed. We need to find a new one. Not a problem. Land of land of land of wine. Local Montepulciano, Nobile wine. I was excited to do the tour in the Cantina de Ricci, but it was closed. I like every wine. So for me, it's very difficult to say which one is better. All right, we're in Pienza right now, five minutes away from the old town. We made a quick stop here. Behind me, we have one of the gladiator locations. How's the wine in this region? I can only say incredibly tasty everywhere I try in Tuscany so far. But the most important thing, the scenery here, the landscape, wow. So our star guide, Luca, he's from this region in Tuscany and he was telling us I never eat pork or any type of poultry in a restaurant because I don't know what they do with them. And I grew up growing these animals. As you can see in this region, a lot of people living here, their own businesses, wine, growing animals, eating their own food, vegetables, everything. That's what they do. That's why they live longer. All right, so this is the town of Pecorino cheese. Can't believe how many shops they have Pecorino cheese here. Two meses. Ah. And outside it's red because. Three meses. Four meses. Mm. Three meses. Four 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 meses. Practicing my mother tongue. Italian, Lithuanian, speaking Spanish. Paula, ¿dónde pueden encontrarte? Se llama Taberna del Pecorino. Yes. Gracias. What's interesting for me is that you guys were practicing Spanish. <laughs> Italian, Romanian, Lithuanian, yeah. speaking my mother tongue, and perfectly actually. Yeah, and you know, you were... I, I, I cannot believe she learned just from the telenovelas. ¿Dónde aprendiste español? Yo soy de, de Rumania y cuando estuve pequeña mi hermana se miraba las telenovelas. All telenovelas from the 90s or early 2000s with Natalia Oreiro and that's it. That's how they learn. Yeah, but the trick is we hear both Spanish and our language. So you don't kind of silent the original one. That's the difference and that helps a lot. I think somebody wants to buy everything here. It is from Mother Italia. I was really debating what to buy, but I went for a small one. But the smell, it's indescribable. It's amazing. Now we are in another spot for the Gladiator movie. There's so many different spots here. I honestly don't recognize most of them. This place is mesmerizing. I can really see why they filmed the gladiator here. This valley, wow, I'm speechless. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, see you next week.